guys, welcome to three weeks out from universe. I have been really bad at creating content and uploading videos because I don't know, I've been super busy, like just personally, professionally, and also like I feel like I've been in this state of struggle because my body on the scale is not responding as well as I would like it to. And as I mentioned in my last video, I was diagnosed with hypothyroid. I started medication and I feel like my body's just sort of been like all over with that. And I am not losing weight on the scale like I've traditionally been used to in past preps. And so I can physically see my body changing, like my upper body, my stomach looks a lot leaner, my clothes fit a lot better, but the scale is like this, and like on the high end too, not even on like the mid to low end. So being like three weeks out now, I was actually like teetering on whether or not I would do this show. And I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last video, but for a couple reasons. Number one, it's hard for me to put my body like under the stress of a deficit and workouts and especially it butting up so close to my vacation and then not be ready. And then flying out to New Jersey, hotel, cost of entry for the show, like that's thousands of dollars. I don't want to like go through all of that and pay all of that money to not be ready. And like ready to win, right? Not just for like top call outs, but like I wanna bring my best package. So that was like the first apprehension in my mind. And then secondly, you know, I'm still suffering a little PTSD from the natural national show I did last November. Even though I did LA in January, I feel like last November that natural show was like really my last show. So I'm worried about just showing up and getting second call outs just because for no other reason other than just, you know, I'm not bikini material or just, you know, whatever the case is. So I know that's, of course, always a risk. I don't compete in this sport with the assumption that I'm going to win or get first call outs every time. I just know that's not realistic. But I guess like I want to ensure that I am doing everything I can to bring the best package to stage. And if for whatever reason, like biologically, my body's just not you know, like working with me th that I can recognize it and then push back the show. So I've never scheduled a show and not done it. So I grapple with that in my mind of like not following through with what I expected to do. But I guess looking back now, if I could do anything differently, I gave myself 12 weeks of prep, actually 15 weeks of prep now since we were originally prepping for junior nationals. But I just think with the changes of the medication and my body, I probably should have given myself a little bit more time. Even just a few weeks would have made, I think, a big difference. But nonetheless, we are pushing through. Um, some changes we made this week, we went down to 1,300 calories. Well, sorry, last week. So for the last week, maybe two weeks, we've been 1,300 calories. And then the last two weeks, we bumped up cardio to an hour, seven days a week. But this last week, we implemented running into my cardio, which I'm stoked about because I used to be a runner. I've run like a bunch of marathons and half marathons. So I am so happy to be back running. I haven't ran since I started competing because we've been trying to build my glutes. And obviously like long distance running is not good for like muscle development. So I haven't been able to run, but this last week I have been loving it. So I'm doing 30 minutes run and just like at a steady state, nine to 10 minute mile pace, nothing too strenuous. And then um, immediately following that, like a 30 minute incline walk. And I've actually been trying to do like a little bit less incline and a faster pace just to get my legs like, you know, burning through some of the fat and water that it's holding. So. I have been digging that. I think my legs are digging it too. And I guess the reason why we implemented running, I should say, is because my quads are dominant and they are always like pretty big coming into a show because I'm not losing as much water or I should say because I'm holding on to a lot more water and I'm, I'm not as lean as I normally am at this point. My legs just look big and I measure them. So every time I do a check-in, I do measure my quads and they should be at this point an inch smaller. So that's a weakness of mine that 
we're always just trying to work through with like posing and diet, of course, and like cardio manipulation. And we don't do any quads when we're at the gym. Sometimes they get a little bit of an exercise, but we try to steer clear of that. So the running hopefully will help to get my quads down. Even if I have to burn a little bit of muscle, that's totally fine. But the goal is to get them smaller. So running has been a great addition. I am loving it, burning a lot of calories, sweating. And like I said, it's like just great to be back again. I love that high intensity exercise. And then going into next week, we are lowering calories again. We are going down to 1100. So three weeks out, or it'll be a little less than three weeks out, we are just going to get really aggressive for us and go down to 1100 calories. So it's, I think we're going to be at like 135 protein, 30 fat, and I don't know, like 75 carbs or something. So basically, Anna and I are going to just do every single thing that we can in order to get my body ready for stage. My flights are booked. I have not yet signed up for the show, but I anticipate doing just that. And I couldn't imagine backing out, but again, it's like if for some reason my body just like, we feel like it's not gonna be ready, then I'm just not gonna do the show as hard as that will be for me. It just wouldn't make sense, right? Like I just don't wanna do it for my ego. I wanna do it really because like I'm ready and I'm competitive and it's the right thing to do. But I have a lot of energy. I, have, um, I haven't been starving, which is great. I mentioned that in my last uh, video, is that my appetite has been pretty stable and I don't know if it's because of the medication. That's the only thing that's changed um, the thyroid medication. So I'm not quite sure like what role that's playing, but I have a good amount of energy and decent appetite. So I'd say at least in that way, I am optimistic. Anyway, let's get going. I am actually, even though my body's not responding conventionally as other preps, and even though I'm still like a little bit PTSD about doing this national show, you know, my mood is like this, like literally one day I'm like, I hate everything. My body looks terrible. All I can focus on is the negatives. And then the next day I'm like, you know what? I am looking great and I'm feeling great, which is m the most important. And we're going to go give it are all, you know, like who cares, right? Like it's supposed to be fun. And so I'm kind of all over the place, which I think also is a little bit normal for a prep. You know, it's always like when your weight starts to go down for anything, if you're prepping for a show to compete or if you're just on a weight loss journey, our mood depends so heavily on that scale. And it's unfortunate, but when the scale moves, it gives us more energy and motiv more motivation to like keep you know, the regimen and keeping strict and the discipline and everything else becomes a little bit easier because you see the cause and effect, right? So when I'm doing all these things and the scale doesn't budge, it's, it's difficult because it's all I can focus on. But that's why I said, like, I see the vascularity coming out in my upper body. I see my core leaning out a little bit. My clothes are fitting better. So I know the weight is coming off even if the scale refuses to demonstrate that. So... F the scale from now on. I don't even think I'll weigh myself until like, I don't know, who knows when. But anyway, so that's it. It is Sunday. I'm about to get in my cardio. So I'm going to get on my treadmill, run for 30 minutes, walk for 30 minutes, and then go enjoy the day. So I will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
just got done with cardio and I ran for 45 minutes because I was like feeling pretty good and then walked for 15. And um, I think I over, <laughs> I think I overspoke when I said like I was feeling good and like a lot of energy because I forgot how much running takes out of me, out of my whole body and especially when I'm on low calories. So I haven't had lunch yet and it's pretty late in the afternoon and I'm so starving. I'm like hanging on by a thread. But a couple things I wanted to mention that I was thinking about when I was talking about introducing running back into my cardio routine. I haven't ran in like four years because I was trying to build my glutes. And the only reason why we feel semi comfortable with me running now is because I've built up some pretty good muscle. And the feedback in my last show was that I don't need to bring any more size, like any more size is bad. So if anything, just work on the conditioning, work on the details and also working on, work on bringing down my quads. So with that feedback, we felt like we had a little bit of wiggle room to get some running in, not for the whole prep, but for a specific period of time in order to help bring down my quads. And if my glutes come down a little bit as a result, then so be it. But I think hopefully that'll put me in a better position. So it's all a gamble, right? It's like you just try to like pull in these tools to see if or hope that that will be the solution to get the physique that's going to be competitive on stage. So that's what we're doing. We're trying. And ultimately, we considered this show like a warm up show because the show that like I'm really, you know, kind of going after that I'm familiar with that I'm comfortable with that's in, you know, Southern California is the Muscle Contest Masters national show that's in November. And so I always like have it in the back of my mind, like that's a show that like, I really want to be competitive. I competed there before. I, I know what the competitors look like. I know the judges. I know the venue. Like it just, there's a lot of comfortability. So anyway, but nonetheless, I still want to kill it at this show. Obviously I still want to get my pro card, but one last thing I wanted to mention about running is that it's so insane how like as bodybuilders or weightlifters, casual or, you know, not running is so taxing on the body. So I feel like I'm pretty strong. I can lift pretty decent weight and reps and technique and form and all that stuff. But when I ran for the first two days, Monday and Tuesday of last week, when we first started it, I ran for 30 minutes on Monday and then an hour on Tuesday because I was like feeling good. My body was so freaking sore. Like my entire body, my feet, my shins, my calves, my hamstrings, my adductors, my back, my glutes, my core, my core was so sore. And even now when I was running, like I feel, I've always had a really tight, strong core. I've just always worked it and focused on it from, you know, when I was adolescent, it was sore. And I still feel it as I was running now, like I feel just my obliques and just like my abs, you know, tighten. So oh, it's crazy. It's crazy how running like impacts the body. But anyway, nonetheless, I wanted to show my new suit that I got. I had mentioned last time that I had a consultation with Angel's Competition Bikini and I felt like she got my vision, but I was also a little nervous because it's such an investment and again, I don't want to buy another suit that I'm not totally happy with, but I love it. So I wanted to show you guys the color. It is blue and I don't, probably this video won't do it justice, but I love, love, love the blue color and the top. I just, the way that they did the beading with sort of like a turquoise and actually I'll see if I can like bring this up closer. So. It's just so pretty. And I think that the way it will like shine and sparkle on stage is going to be just the contrast that I need to not wash me out and just to look really, really pretty. So yeah, so I'm, I'm excited about that. It's, if it's a little tight still, I need to get the um, bottoms taken out just so they can sit higher on my hips, but as is, like it fits kind of tight, which I never love that feeling, <laughs> especially when you're already feeling like you're not ready, you know, or where you should be in the prep, but that's okay. I am obsessed with it. This doesn't mean my last suit for a very long time. So I wanted to really love it. And I do. Anyway, that's it. Going to eat lunch before I pass out and I will talk to you guys later. It is Friday afternoon and we are 
officially two days out from the show today. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on how things have been going. And let's just say they've been pretty hard. <laughs> I feel like we have just gone really aggressive in my calories and cardio and workouts and everything. And it has just been a very challenging week. So we were pretty good increasing cardio to an hour. I was like at 1300 calories, I think. And I was feeling great. 30 minutes of running. Um, I would do like 30 to 60 minutes of running because it just felt really good to be running again. And then 30 to, you know, or less minutes of walking at an incline. And then we lowered calories. Last week we went down to 1100. So I'm like at 70 carbs, 30 fats, and 130 protein or something like that. And that jump from 13 and even 12 was okay, but that jump to 1100 was like what tipped me over the edge. So ever since then, which was last Monday, we lowered it, or today's Friday, so mon this, no, wait, was it last Monday? Yeah, it was this last Monday. God, it feels like it's been a lifetime. Day one of 1100 calories, and I just automatically felt my energy plummet, my mood plummet, like everything. Everything is so much harder. Cardio was hard. Running, which I was like so happy to do, like that's so super hard. Having energy to like talk with friends or even just to like be my outgoing normal self has been really hard. So I don't know why, just for some reason seems harder now than ever. Usually when we go down to 1100 calories, it's like peak week or the week before peak week. And so this time, you know, my body, like I mentioned, is just not responding as well as it should be or as it has in the past. I know I have more muscle. That's clear. So I don't expect to be the same weight, but I just don't see the scale dropping. And I know that we shouldn't like measure our progress on the scale, but I clearly feel like I'm getting leaner. I look leaner. I have, you know, well, vascularity showing up now. My clothes are definitely so much looser. So I know I'm getting lean, but that damn scale is like not cooperating. But anyway, we are just like literally doing everything that we can and being really aggressive to show up as good as we possibly can. So that is what we're working to towards. And so I'm not complaining. Like I know this is what we have to do, but it just also sucks because everything else is suffering. <laughs> in terms of like my work productivity, any extracurricular, just like my husband is so amazing because he makes up for like my lack of energy or if I'm moody, he like definitely does not take offense to it. He's just so super cute and like just even keeled, which is very nice, but just like everything suffers. Like I, I can't like think as well. I can't articulate myself as well. Oh no. I'm just being a big baby, but for some reason I'm on the struggle bus. So that's just the update. We're going to keep 1100 calories going forward and probably reduce in peak week, just depending on how my body is. But I do get a cheat meal tonight, which is usually not like a real cheat meal. You know, I'm not having like burger and fries, but I do have some French fries. Like that's my favorite food. So I have some French fries and then also just like a piece of fish, usually like something fattier like salmon and some vegetables. So I am planning on going out to dinner with my husband and some friends, which will just be nice just to get out and eat something else that's not on my meal plan. I, I, I never feel like I need a cheat meal or a refeed or anything. I usually like can power through no problem, but I actually feel like I might die, so a cheat meal sounds really good. I'm not gonna physically die, but um, but yeah. So that's what's going on. Cardio still seven days a week, so I'm about to get on the treadmill now. And then after I drink my coffee, because it's giving me life, and then cardio tomorrow and Sunday, and I'll probably do check-in photos tomorrow or Sunday and just practicing posing every single day. And I basically have just one more week before peak week just to get everything ready and tie up any loose ends. But anyway, I hope I'm gonna bring a good package to the show. I'm excited for it. Um, and I do like deep down feel like it will come together. 
but it's so crazy. Like, I think my issue or why I'm being such a baby, like, and complaining so much is just because it's so hard, like, when you do all of these things, like, sacrifice so much and you have, like, all the discipline. Like, I don't cheat ever. I, you know, maybe I grab, like, some blueberries here or there, like, something like that. But I, I never cheat. I, like, never skip a second of a workout cardio, an exercise, a rep, like I am to the max. And so when you're like doing all this and you don't, like you're not rewarded by way of the scale or like just seeing yourself um, progress, you know, like it's just so frustrating to feel like you're doing all of this, but the payoff isn't like you're not recognizing it. You're not seeing it. And so I know that I have prep goggles on. I always do. We all do. Anybody who's like in a weight loss regimen, when they're trying to lose weight, like they don't see themselves making as much progress as they actually are. But all I'm asking for is that damn scale just to tell me that I'm making progress. Fine if I don't see it. Like that's what my coach is for. But that scale is just like, for example, Monday we drop calories to 1100 but I check in Monday morning, I, uh, the scale says 143, which normally around this time I'm like 137, 136, so already super high. Okay, I gained muscle, so fine. But it was 143 and it had gone down. So that was like two, three pounds down, oh, three pounds. It was three pounds less than I had weighed in like over the weekend. And then it was the same on Tuesday. And then Wednesday it was back up two pounds to 145. Like for what? Why are you possibly going up in the opposite direction? I'm literally starving. I'm doing all the cardio, all the weights. Like it just, it does not make sense to me. And I know it does make sense. I know if you're telling me it's like inflammation and stress and hormones and sleep and like, I know, I know all this stuff. I tell my clients the same thing, but for me, for some reason, like it's just, so, it's just frustrating. Anyway, I know you've all been there. If you're watching this and you've prepped or you've been on a diet or you've like worked towards something, and you haven't seen the progress, you know, it's so frustrating. So I, I'm not alone here, but I also know how ridiculous I sound. So anyway, that's where we are at two weeks out. I am definitely looking forward to everything. One more week. I know this next week will make some significant improvements. I just feel that it's coming my way. So I will keep you guys posted with that. I'll make a separate video for peak week and show day. And that's basically it. So off to do cardio, which I absolutely, with every ounce of my body, do not want to do. But <laughs> after the first, like, five minutes, I'm usually in the groove. So 60 minutes of cardio on deck, and I will talk to you guys later. Oh, 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 oh,